All right, so let's pick up where we left off there. Let's see, what do we have left to do? Let's go ahead and stylize our navigation. Let's make that a little bit cooler. Um, bum, 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 bum. And then after that, I think we're kind of okay. The next step would be to add this style as an external style and create these other pages as well. So let's go ahead and make sure that we know that we're on the home page and add within the text area down here Let's say within there, let's go ahead and say, let's give it an H1 tag, and we'll say home, so that we know we're there. And because it's a header tag, it's going to go ahead and push this text down to the next line, which is exactly what I want. Um, now it is going to come in with the default H1 styling. So just like the body tag, let's go ahead and just target that. And you know, let's go ahead and use the same font, kind of like that font. But let's go ahead and say font weight is bold. Oops, forgot to close this one out. That's why it's not. Now, when they're on their last, when they're on a line by themselves here, or it's the last style within a, or last attribute within a style there, you don't need to put that semicolon because it's the last one. But if you have more than one, you have to close that out with that semicolon down there. All right, so I got that. Now let's say any of the text within the side area here. Let's go ahead and style that. So let's find our side area ID. And let's say font. Let's do a different font family for this one. Let's get crazy. All right, let's say, you know what we had that was nice? Where's that impact? That was kind of cool. It's a little bit different. And let's say font size is, I don't know, 20 pixels. And you know what we can go ahead and do is go ahead and link to our other pages. Now, even though we don't have them created yet, we can figure out what we're gonna name them. So let's go ahead and add an anchor tag, href equals, remember what we call our home page is always called index.html. Everything else from there can be called whatever you want. So let's wrap it around our home tag, around the about. All right, let's go ahead and just copy this just to kind of save a little bit of time. And we'll say about, we'll call that about.html. So we're going to have to create these pages here, but that's not a problem. We'll do that here in a second. And we'll say contact, same thing. Contact at HTML, contact, close out that A tag, A tag. Contact at HTML, cool, got that. So now because these are href tags, they're they are anchor tags, A tags up here, we need to say side area, anything that's within there, that is an A tag. Let's make it um, text decoration none, so no underline. And let's say color is, oh, what should we pick? Let's pick something maybe kind of nice and sunny. Here you go, uh, chocolate. That's cool. All right, so we'll make it a chocolate colored. And you know, just so it stands out, let's go ahead and use my favorite color gray again. So we'll say background color gray. So we know our side area. Let's just see what that looks like here real quick. Oh my God, it's beautiful. That is beautiful. All right, so we have three working links here. And you know what, let's do one other thing. Let's say when you hover, Let's change the color to, let's find a new color. What's a new color we can use? Do, 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 let's say crimson. Oh my goodness, we're getting crazy now. Crimson, all right. So if I mouse over, you can see that that changes color all done through my CSS. Now the sidebar blends in too much with the footer here. So let's do, maybe not a CCC, let's find a different color. Let's find a nice bisque. Who wouldn't want to use bisque? All right, that kind of goes nicely with our sun set up here. 
All right, so I've got my home page. I've got these three pages here. And now what I could do is, I'm gonna go ahead and save this as index. I've been calling it something else up until this point. So let's save it as the home page. But because I want to have a couple other pages all using the same style sheet here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut all this out. And I'm gonna to go to, so let's go ahead and save that. I'm gonna come back to my external CSS sheet. I'm gonna get rid of the style because it is a style page already. Don't need to define that. And let's go style. And let's come back to here. All right, so remember, we have to do a link. Uh, let's go ahead and say href equals, and it's, do I see it down here? Style.css, there we go. And, um, relative equals, it's a style sheet. And, oops, and type equals CSS text. All right, now all my style sheets are gone. They're all linked in this style sheet here. I'm going to save that. Should come back here. Oops, because I don't have the right file here. Remember, I got to go back to my index.html. All right, oops, that's save. Just hit a return there, dummy. Okay, so now my index.html is now linking to an external style sheet, and it's still working. Tested that out. Now what we can do is go ahead and close that out, and we're gonna keep this again real simple. I like to keep things simple. Here's my index file on my desktop. I'm gonna duplicate it twice, and I'm gonna call this one about, and this one contact. Let's go ahead and open those two guys up. All right, so I need to know which one's which. So I'm gonna say about here in my, whoops, wrong one, in my header one tag right there. All right, and I'll save that and I'll come back here and in this header one tag, see this is the contact page. So I'm gonna say contact. And I'll save that. Now, let's close these two out. And let's come back to our main document. Again, we've got our index file right there in the browser. Now, I should be able to go to About. You can see that changed. Go to Contact. You can see that changed. We all the way got a spelling error. And come back to Home, and that's working. So right now, within, what, 20 minutes there, we created an entire web page and basically an entire website. Now it doesn't look great, but you can see the basic structure of how this works and all the content that goes in it and how to stylize it. We've stylized classes, we've stylized IDs, and we've stylized HTML tags, which is again 99% of everything that you're going to be doing with CSS.